In this video, we will review how easy it is to operate, remove, and install the highly secure Hoppe HLS7 multipoint series lock set, usually supplied by quality conscious door manufacturers. First, be certain that you are in fact working with the famous Hoppe HLS7 series multipoint lock. You can be certain if you see the trademarked symbol on the side of the high quality stainless steel lock and back plates of the handle sets. Next, you'll need the following tools, a Phillips head screwdriver, cordless screw gun, and the quick fit release tool originally provided with your hardware. Remember to only use stainless steel mounting screws with this lock. Once you've identified the product, remember to only work with the door in the open unlocked position and be certain you do not close the door till you've tested the full operation of the door. Let's start with the proper operation of the door. From the inside, begin by turning the top of the thumb turn toward the door edge. Next, lift the handle to extend all of the locking points which would secure the door in the frame and provide exceptional weather sealing capabilities. To open the door from the inside, all you do is depress the inside handle and with a single movement, all of the locking points are retracted offering you a quick exit with this anti-panic function in case of emergency. This is a unique feature with this premium locking system. To lock the door from the outside, before leaving, turn the thumb turn toward the edge of the door, close the door, and lift the outside handle. No more fumbling with your keys to lock the door with this technique. This will engage all of the locking points and prevent further re-entry. Alternately, with the door closed, you can insert the key Rotate the top of the key towards the edge of the door approximately 180 degrees and then lift the outside handle to engage all of the locking points. Please note, you must either turn the thumb turn toward the edge of the door or rotate the key toward the edge of the door in order to engage the locking points. This was designed as a safety feature to help prevent damaging the frame around the door if it should accidentally close with extended locking points. To remove the lock from the door, begin by removing the HLS 7 series handle set as shown in our previous video. Once the handle set is removed, your door will look something like this and you're now ready to begin. First, examine the face plate of the lock above the latch. The lock is generally supplied as either a two-piece or three-piece configuration. Starting at the top of the door, Look for a seam at right angles to the length of the door. If there is no seam till just above the deadbolt, you probably have a two-piece system. If you do have a seam further above, you probably have a three-piece system. In both cases, starting at the top edge of the door, begin removing the Phillips head mounting screws. They should all be about the same size. Once you get down to the seam above the deadbolt, stop removing screws. The last screw not only helps to mount the top extension, it also helps to mount the lock case and ensure proper engagement of the drive rail mechanism with that lock case. At this point, begin removing the top extension from the top edge of the door. Take special note how the drive rail engages with the lock case as you will need to properly re-engage this when installing the product. When the top extension is removed, your door will look something like this. The bottom extension and lock case are one piece. Begin removing the Phillips head mounting screws from the bottom edge of the door, stopping when you reach the star drive screw. Now that all of the mounting screws have been removed, beginning with the lock case, gently ease out the lock case and the balance of the lower extension. You can now begin repainting or other activities intended with the door. Installing the Hoppe HLS 7 series multipoint lock is basically reversing the procedures just covered. Starting with the lock case and lower extension, gently insert them into the prepared door, ensuring that the face plate fully seats in the preparation and is flush with the door edge. Beginning with the mounting hole just below the star screw, which is still in place, begin securing the lower extension with the stainless steel Phillips head mounting screws that you removed earlier. 
Now install the top extension beginning just above the deadbolt. It's critical to the top extension's operation to be certain that you properly engage the upper extension's drive rail at this connection point. Once properly engaged, the Phillips head screw just below it is designed to hold the assembly together in a properly prepared door edge. After the screw is installed, begin with the mounting hole closest to this screw and begin replacing the stainless steel Phillips head mounting screws that you removed earlier, starting at this location, continuing to the top edge of the door. Now it's time to reinstall the Hoppe HLS 7 series handle sets as shown in the previous video. Now that the lock is completely installed, let's make sure everything is working properly. With the door in the open position, test the operation of the lock. Rotate the top of the thumb turn toward the edge of the door and then lift the inside handle. Lifting the handle at this point should initiate the locking points. Depressing the handle should retract all of the locking points. Congratulations, you've successfully removed and reinstalled your Hoppe HLS 7 multipoint lock. For further support and information, explore our website at www.us.hoppe.com.